Dear Diary, all right, all right, all right. It's been an interesting past few days. Fondlin could be nice if given the opportunity. Good place for coin, at least. We've been getting jobs thrown at us every 30 minutes or so. Speaking of jobs, we did pick one up. After Hard Truck and I got a couple of red brand lessons, we were off for the gig to still car. An associate of his has gone missing, and is believed to be held captive by Glass Staff and his friends. We've been calling him Glass Dick for fun, but only because we think he might be smart. Magic can be a tough one. Reuniting with Mooney, he was hanging out with a fish or something. We found a tunnel beneath the abandoned man. We found some folks inside, and we're now moving deeper into the lowest structure. We decided to fuck shit up and burn that manor as a gift to myself after. How am I doing? I feel weird. Uh, more powerful, like my connection with you know who is getting stronger. I even left a blade behind. I don't think I need it anymore. I don't know what he wants in return yet, and I'm going to be okay with that. As long as it ain't killing kids or nothing, I think I'm all in. Still, it, it's weird. I like feeling this way. I want more, and it scares me. Till next time, XOSO, kid. Well, get back into our dungeon. We're at this hallway. Yeah, in the hallway. I'll just read their description. What did they say about this hallway last time? There's long hallway. A door at the end of it? Sort of, door at the end of it. Uh, it's sort of decorated with these faux columns, like every 10 feet. There's double doors at the end, like the west end of the hall, that are sheathed in a copper plate, which is now quite green with age. Um, you can see there's a relief carving of sort of a morning angel on the doorway. And the hallway seems particularly dust. Uh, uh, looking at the floor, is there, are there footprints in the dust? Or does it look like relatively undisturbed? Looks relatively undisturbed. Or do you think it could be like uh, pressure plates or like motion activated or anything? Well, if you look at the floor, it kind of looks like uh, there hasn't been anyone through here in quite some time. So I don't know. I mean, we could try try going through here. But, uh, See if the door is unlocked. Right. Can I make my way to the door, kind of looking? I'm, I'm checking for traps. I'm moving cautiously. Uh, roll me an investigation. Yeah, it'll be a nine. So you're walking down this hallway. And once you get to a bit here ish. Fuck, I knew it. <laughs> yes, I did. I roll a, fucking roll a bit too. Uh, you step on some loose stone tiles and you hear this crack underneath your feet as. Almost sounds like these timber beams are breaking. I would like you to roll me a acrobatic check, please. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. You are able to, as these tiles and timber break away, to sort of jump across. Uh, you see underneath you, sort of almost this twenty foot that you broke away into the floor. Yeah, I'm all right. Um. A little bit of a hole there. Uh, I meant to do that, of course. I wouldn't want anyone uh, anyone following us that we uh, we don't know about, right? Inside check. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, what's the door over there look like? Right. Um, so it looks like a door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look. Does it does it have a visible keyhole or knob situation going on? It's like a, a push door. It's like a push door? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give her a push. Hey, you can check for traps there. Too late. No traps. It does, open. It do does it open. It does open. Just push it open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do I see beyond the void? Well, are you going to peek your way all the way into the room? I'm just kind of cracking it open just enough so I can take a peek in. Uh, from the peak. From the crack in the door, 
No deal. Is this yeah. one single door or is it? I, I it's a, for some it's reason, a double. Visioning doubles. It's a double. It is a double door, yeah. Okay, so I'm cracking it open so I can just peek, uh, the, peek an eye hole through. You, from your crack, you see what appears to be a, a tomb, coffin, stone. A tomb? Sort of tomb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fellas, this looks to be um like a tomb in here. I don't know if it's going to help us find um, fucking what's his nuts that we're looking for, but we could get some money out of this. Well, maybe. I mean, it, do you see the whole room? Right, so no, I don't. I just can tell that it's a tomb in here. Um, I, I'm just, before I open these doors all the way up, are you guys going to try to come over here? And you just want me to kind of investigate it myself? Well, that's a- I can uh, I can join you over there. This that's not that big of a big of a jump for me with my frog legs. And um, I can throw you. I can throw you if you like. If you uh, help out. You don't. You know, I, I appreciate your your ideas, but uh, you see these legs. I got I got the hops as they call them. Um, I can long jump up to twenty five feet. So I'm just going to long jump that. Yeah, you got no problem getting over the hole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you two just want to uh, scout the place out quick, whatever you see, and maybe Mooney and I will follow, or if there's nothing there, then you can check out whatever you're going to steal or whatever, and then meet back with us and we can check out that other door. That uh, works All for right. me. I don't think my giant legs could make that. Yeah, and I, I, I don't feel right leaving it behind, so. All right, it looks like it's a, it's a Trog and Archie adventure here. All right. I'm going to push on the door and kind of slowly creak it open. Mooney and I are going to play a rock, paper, scissors. Trying to be as stealthy about it as I can be. <laughs> uh, well, why don't you go ahead and roll me a stealth check? Absolutely. So sneakily open the door. Do you want us both to, or just him? That's a 21. Uh, are you also pushing a door open? <laughs> are you just, like, both taking a door and swinging? I mean, if Archie can be doing it himself. I just kind of creaking it open. Yeah, I'll say, since you're both uh, a bit on the smaller side as far as races go, you are able to sort of creak it open a crack just enough to sort of squeeze through without having to, like, fully swing the doors open. And you can do that fairly silently. Uh, But as you walk into the room, what you see are three tombs as well as three skeletons in the corner. Oh, uh, the skeletons are already standing. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> God damn it. A, a few of them are, in fact, armed. Are they moving? <laughs> they are. And they did roll a natural 20 on their perception check. So as you squeeze through the doorway, they all just sort of turn to look at you. They, they haven't moved yet. I mean, they're moving, but they haven't like made an aggressive move towards you. They haven't they, made an aggressive movement. But but they all do, they're all, <laughs> the skulls all do turn and face you guys, and they're just sort of staring at you. I'm going to turn and look at a trog. All right, so uh, how do you want to do this one? I mean, we, you don't really have much cover here, so I think uh, really our only option is to either jump over the, the hole or go in, uh, you know, guns blazing. Or, I guess, you know, sword's drawn. All right. Well, uh, I want to dive right here. And uh, I'm going to launch an arrow at homeboy right here. Arrow initiative. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) I don't like that laugh. (laughs) It's an 18 for initiative. Uh, Nap 20. 23. Nap 20. Okay. Yes. Certainly going first. <laughs> DM, is that door open? Like, can we see into the other room where we're standing? Derek and I? Nope, only a crack. They didn't open it fully. Ah, uh, okay. Frog, you are up. I am going to cast Dissonant Whispers. What are, what do they all have equipped? Like, what are they all wearing? Do they all have swords or? Yeah, 
the uh, the two skeletons appear to have short swords, and the other one is bow, well, short bow. I want to do it at the one with the short bow. Um, okay. I'm just going to say moist over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That would do it for me. <laughs> he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Good thing skeletons are famous, famously wise. Nine. Had to get a 13. Uh, 15 points of damage. Fucking hell, 15. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Very nice. So, Archie, you can also kind of hear this whisper, weirdly enough, saying moist over and over again as it echoes through, through this tomb. And you notice the one skeleton in the red armor scraps over there in the back. It's just doesn't really make a sound, but you see it kind of vibrating weirdly. <laughs> and it, it just collapses into a pile of bones. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, fucking yeah. awesome. Oh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that is... I love so much that Ty's character... Ty's character one just one makes noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this fucking one shot. Weaponizes noises. Skeleton number three over here got 19. He's going to shuffle his way down... You Archie over here, and it's gonna take a swing with his short sword. Fifteen to hit. A fifteen to hit, it hits. Yep. So you see the skeleton sort of shuffle over, uh, sort of dragging his one leg behind him as he moves towards you, and you are going to take five points of piercing damage as this short sword comes down and sort of catches you across your your armor. Hey guys, did we ever rest after our last battle? When was our last time we battled? Yeah, today, the last game. No, we we battled downstairs. Oh. We battled in the in the cistern. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And before that, no we battled outside. <laughs> this is our third fight in the last like twenty minutes. Okay, no worries. We're good. <laughs> okay, well, um. well, it's worrying me that <laughs> now you're asking about it. <laughs> And the way he said it. Oh, no worries. It's fine. Um, it, is your, it is your turn now. Okay, bonus action. I would like to disengage. I'm going to, like, fucking leapfrog jump this tomb, and I'd like to land right here. Okay. And then, with my action, I'd like to send an arrow into the head of that guy there. Cool. Roll me an attack. Natural 20. And it doesn't matter because um, definitely he hasn't is. made an attack yet, and I've got my uh, my thing. Assassinate, assassinate, assassinate. Yeah. So now I'm going to use sneak attack because I have advantage, and that's fourteen to hit, fourteen points of damage. So this arrow goes. It does basically blow a massive chunk uh, out of the skull of the skeleton. It's still standing, but it, 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 it does like. As far as the skeleton goes, it it seems a bit wobbly, weirdly enough. So this skeleton that you just blew half its head off is also going to make its way towards you. Sort of shambling, wobbling now. And we'll make another attack roll against Archie. Which is a sweet, sweet four. That misses. So the skeleton now missing half its face shambles over, swings its sword at you. But you're able to duck underneath it. Okay, now, uh, Mooney right. and Kid, want to come back to you guys? Mooney, there's there's three options. All right, you got rock, you got boulder, you got parchment, you got shears. It one beats the other. I've explained this to you like sixty times already, man. Come on. Boulder, parchment, shears. Uh, okay. Right. okay. Are you are you ready? I I'm ready. I pick shears. And we can cut back. <laughs> well, I would say you guys now. You guys now at this point do hear. Wait, uh, what's that? Do we hear? Do we hear that? We hear the fighting. You guys, you guys hear the sound of combat. Yeah. Oh shit! All right, <laughs> we should oh, go. Oh no! Uh, All right. You go ahead. I'll, I'll do my best. Well, I don't want you falling. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have you guys roll into the initiative as well. So give me your, uh, your oh, initiative no. rolls. Oh no, I rolled a five. I've, I was really into this are, game, and I was just no disappointed. <laughs> Can the title of this episode please just be "Oh no, oh no"? Because oh, no. between the two of you, you said it at least twenty times in the last thirty seconds. <laughs> uh, I have a fifteen. Okay, good. Okay, then we are back up at Trog. The one skeleton that was that Archie shot at and took half its face off. I want to do a vicious mockery at it. Uh, so another wisdom saving throw. That will what do you be think? a six. Uh, I say to him, Hey guy, how come uh, you didn't go to the dance? It's because you don't have any body to go with. And <laughs> Fucking dad joke. <laughs> he takes uh, three points of damage. Uh, the, dis- <laughs> the disadvantage doesn't matter as uh, the other half of his face turns <laughs> as he hears these words and just crumbles into dust. He, he did it again! <laughs> it can't keep getting away with this! <laughs> we can't have one uh, with half its face blown off and still alive. <laughs> yeah. It's a skeleton. It had, it had one HP. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> this campaign is going to be full of him insulting people to death, and I'm so for it. <laughs> Where are you, by the way? Are you in the room? Or are you sort of like peeking around the door? Inside of the room, but the door is opened in, so I'm just kind of like on the other side. So this skeleton right here is close to me. Let's see. Okay, that's what I thought. We can see the Good. we can we can see the inside of the room. Like we, I can still see Trog. Uh, it depends how how far did you open the door, Trog? I mean, I, I figured I I would have. Oh, swung, it, swung it, it yeah. Okay, then yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys can see Trog, and at this point, you can see the skeleton who's moving towards Trog, <laughs> looming over him, and about to take oh, an attack, okay. which is a. So what is that? Oh, a sixteen. That hits. Six points of damage, piercing damage, which brings us up to Archie. All right, I'm gonna shoot my bow at the skeleton boy. 23 to hit. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, he is within five feet of my good friend. Uh, okay, so sneak attack. 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. So, Trog, from your perspective, you see an arrow basically <laughs> shoot through the skeleton through his armor straps and go basically straight through him and clang over your head. Uh, Mooney and Kid, you see this arrow shoot down the hallway as well. Well, fuck. As it sort of just punches through his armor and his uh, collapsing body. Skeleton is still standing. And as the sound of battle sort of echoes around this room, uh, from this doorway up here, you're going to see... I didn't even know there was a fucking door there. (laughs) Sort of going to... Yeah, the skeletons are all sort of crowded around it. From out of this room as it bursts open, you can see another guy in a red cloak sort of run in, take stock of the situation. Oh, shit, before that happens, actually, that guy, that doesn't happen. It's Mooney's turn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I, I forgot Mooney went first. Can I use my movement before we do that? <laughs> and block the door? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, you can, you can um, yeah, uh, I just, yeah, I just sort of, <laughs> <laughs> you can eat your movement. <laughs> okay, how tall am I, or how tall are the the two the sarcophagi or whatever these about, things are? About five feet, maybe. Okay, so I am efficiently hidden, pretty because much. Because I'm yeah. only three foot tall. Okay, thank three, you. Three foot tall. I don't, I don't know how a tall a tomb's supposed to be, so I'm just going to say five feet. <laughs> five feet yeah. feels right. That would be like... Yeah, like, yeah, like a right. like a sarcophagus. Like, yeah. yeah, like a... Yeah. Yeah. Respectful. With mummies yeah, and right. shit. I want to say... Eh, Elvis is sat a little... Well, Elvis is his underground, but Elvis's grandson sits like waist height. But... All right, four and a half feet. Okay. I'm still shorter than it, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mooney, it's your turn. From the open door, you can see Trog and the skeleton standing over him. 
Yeah, I'm going to attempt to jump over this hole. Yeah, what is your strength? 14. Do I just so crash you, straight through? <laughs> well, if you can jump uh, a number of feet up to your strength score, if you use 10 feet of movement um, to make the running jump. So you could yeah, clear it if you use 10 feet to jump over. Uh, if he within 5 feet of me? Depends on Trend, how depends big those gaps are. Because we, cause we would have been to play each rock, paper, scissors. Each, each square is 5 feet. Right, but he is like, but we were playing rock, paper, scissors, like, right next to each other. Yeah, if we just assume you were, like, right here, then yeah. I push you out the door and then take a running jump. <laughs> if, it, if, it looks like, if it looks like he's going to jump over this thing, I'm going to grab him and shake my head. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start, yeah, I'm going to start jumping. Yeah, like if, you use ten, if you use 10 feet of movement for a running jump, you can jump your strength. And, so you, you could clear it. At ten feet without without a roll. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. That'd be ten feet plus ten feet. So to get over it, you use twenty feet of your movement. What do we have? Oh, I have thirty. Is the door pretty much blown open? I can see everything, right? Yeah, you can see the skeleton and shrug. Can I use the rest of my ten to make a melee attack against the skeleton? You could get right in up next to Shrog. You do 10 feet up here. All right. Hey, my furry friend. I see you to join the, the fun. <sighs> uh, hello, Drog. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm so out of breath at this point. I'm just glad to see you got the hops, too. Mooney, those are like reverse ghosts. What? <laughs> I turn back around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to immediately pull up my great club and take a shot. God damn. Mooney has a melee weapon? Yep. I've only used it one time. Uh, it is an 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, that's eight points of damage, uh, bludgeoning. All right. And since they have vulnerability to bludgeoning, uh, to oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Skeletons, their natural enemy would. Uh, it, I think vulnerability means you take double damage, right? Yeah. So actually, you did sixteen points of damage to this bad boy. As Tron, you just see you know, sling this this massive club into the chest of the skeleton as it just breaks into pieces and bones go flying everywhere. And Mr. Skellington is gone. I promise I did not look that up beforehand. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now the door's gonna home run. <laughs> now the door's gonna <laughs> kick open. And this red brand's gonna run in, sort of take stock of the situation. <clears throat> see can't can't see Archie, but he sees Trog and Mooney. And this guy also actually has a short bow, so he's going to sort of copy Archie, who he can't see, and take cover behind this tomb. <clears throat> and seeing this giant monster, Mooney, with a huge great club, is going to shoot an arrow at him. I pick up Trog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nat 20. Oh, shit. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, well, in that case, you're going to take eight points of damage. Attack, <laughs> piercing damage. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I can't see a whole lot from where I am, uh, and we have this other door yeah. down here that I know we have to explore later. So um, I'm just going to uh, yell over to Trog and Mooney. Hey, uh, keep those doors wide open. If I can see them, I can shoot them from here. And I'm just going to hold my action, and if I see anything come into my line of sight, I'm going to hit it without the blast. And uh, if I can, maybe I'll position myself like a little bit closer to the edge just to get a like a better shot if something moves forward. But I'm not going to jump just to have to jump back later. Okay, cool. So yeah, so you sort of store up this crackling green energy in your hand as you're waiting to waiting to see if anyone comes in your line of sight. Um, from the door that the other guy came out of, you see another guy come running out uh, with a sword. 
and he's the same thing, going to sort of take stock of the situation. And he's going to start making his way down towards you three. He can't. Well, actually, he can, because now that he's here, he kind of can see Archie. <laughs> he sort of looks down and notices this. Happening. Well, actually, did you, you didn't use hide, did you? You're just sort of standing there. I mean, I didn't say I used hide. I don't know. I'm just standing there. <laughs> okay, so I want to say he doesn't, he doesn't notice you. just sort of standing there. <laughs> sort of jump back a bit in surprise, and I'm just going to take a swing at you with a sword. Because you're, you're as far as you can get. Uh, that is a 11 to hit. That misses. So in, in his shock of just seeing this halfling sort of half crouched behind a tomb, he swings his sword and it sort of just goes wildly missing and clangs off the stone. Uh, back to Chug. Uh, the one that shot at Mooney. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery at him. Uh, he has to Wisdom Saving Throw. Yep, that is going to be a... 7. He fails. Um, you say, uh, Hey, Moody, you got, like, any spell that can cause blindness? Because I really don't want to see this guy's face anymore. <laughs> Mooney says yes, and then blinds you. <laughs> Here you go, Trog. <laughs> that is, which one is he? Number four. A second, you see his eyes sort of scrunch up as, as he hears these terrible, terrible words. As if he suddenly fighting has kind tears. of like a... Fighting back tears, has a bit of a headache. He also like, has this... Too, just oh, yeah, and he has his Okay, yep, you're up, Archie. I would like to use disengage, jump up here, run across this tomb. I would like to become here. So, okay. you're back to the door. The door is open. Yeah. So, actually, I'll let you see a bit inside the door. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a peek in. Yeah, let's hope nothing else is in there. You don't see any people. You see a pile of clothes sitting at the back of the room. Can I ascertain no how much how much of a wall is here? Like on the other side of this door. How much of like a wall? What do you mean? Like if I were to roll in, could, would I be hidden? Or is there like wall here? Um, I mean, you can see the room goes on a bit. Um, you can't from from your position. You can't you can't really see what's in there, but you can see that. Fuck it. It, it, it does continue. I'm gonna roll in here. <laughs> Fuck. Why am I doing this? This is so goddamn <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot believe this. <laughs> I rolled in here. I'm gonna roll in here. Backs against this wall. I would like to like kind of take stock of the room before I do my next action, but. Well, you're on the so room and you see, see <laughs> you see jail cells with people inside them. <laughs> oh fuck! Who are, you who, are now, who are now <laughs> sort of like gasping in surprise as they're hearing this fight going on? You know, creepy skeletons and people grunting and screaming as they get shot with arrows. It's a woman and two youngish kids. A woman and two youngish kids. All yeah. right, I'm gonna say, all right, um. I don't fucking know who you are, but uh, give me a second. I'm going to kind of lean over the wall and launch an arrow at homeboy. (laughs) Oof, 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 oof. 17 to hit. Hits. Okay. That is five points of damage. Hey, you can uh, roll behind the door, take a quick peek out, shoot an arrow. And it sort of catches him right across his chest. Doesn't embed itself, but it does leave a pretty deep scratch. Uh, Mooney, you're up. Seeing there are more people in the room, Mooney is going to turn into a dire wolf and will immediately attack Red Ranger number five. No, not Red Ranger number five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that actually stands for Red Brand Ruffian. Thank you very much. Red Brand Ruffian. <laughs> One target. Okay, so that is a 16 to hit. What's what's the CR that you can turn into? Uh, one. Because because you have seen Dire Badgers. That is true. Just, that is a good point. <laughs> just just reminding you. I'm not sure what their CR is, but it's always an option. Hey, I'll look that up for later. <laughs> just keep it in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. right, what, what, what was your roll? Uh, that's a 16 to hit. 16 does hit. Oh, okay. So that's 10 points of piercing damage. If the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. He is a, he is a humanoid. Gotcha. Okay. You're set then. And I'm just going to oh, stay there I, just growling at him. Yeah. So you uh, basically come up and just maul this guy. Um, <clears throat> they're starting to rip his armor to shreds. He takes him, he's bleeding pretty heavily at this point. Yeah, I want to scare him. Give Traga some room to move. Oh, sorry. Did you say creature or beast? Uh, creature. Oh, yeah, I think everything's a creature, isn't it? Yeah, anything that is living, breathing, or undead, or monster. Yeah, okay, so what, what do I have to roll? Uh, strength? Strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, strength, he gets a 14. Okay, he's good. If it's uh, less than 13, it's he's prone. Uh, this guy in the corner, he's got shot by Archie. Seeing now that there's a massive wolf uh, in his house, room, tomb. And knowing that Archie ran by himself into the other room, he's going to Archie. Over to here with his movement. Face to face, he's going to pull out his short sword and take a swing at you. Well, fuck me. <laughs> That is a fucking oh, These rolls have been really bad for the attacks. That's going to be a 11. Misses. Misses. So as he swings his short sword over to duck, and it clatters off the wall. Uh, which brings us to... Kid. Uh, so no one came into your line of sight, so right, the right. Uh, Eldridge uh, Bath class look. kind of fizzles out. I'm going to yell over to Trog. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. Can I tell him, like, thumbs up or thumbs down? Should I come across? You can. You can, but he won't be able to reply to you until his turn. Ah, well, shit. All right. Well, I feel like a waste here, so I'm going to jump this. It's going to take 20 feet. Well, do I need to do a running jump? uh, I'm going to do whatever Derek had done, because he got to about here. Um... So I'll yeah. do whatever I need to do to get to about this location. Your and, movement's 30, uh, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's all your movement, but you can get there. All right. Um, well, either here or here. Can I see the Can I see the uh, red brand number five? Mumbo yeah, number five over there? All right, I'm going to hit him with an open blast. With a little bit of Monica in your life? Well, fuck. Uh, that's a 14. 14 just misses. Well, that's sucky. Uh, so a, little, yeah. a little bit out of breath, you come running over this thing. Sort of. All right. You haven't made a, you haven't made a jump like that in a while. You're a bit out of shape, unfortunately. And <laughs> you shoot an Eldridge Blast, but it goes a bit wide. And sort of <laughs> blast, some, blast some stones off the, the back wall as they fall to the ground. All right, that's my turn. Okay, back to this guy. He's going to take a swing at Dire Wolf Mooney. With his short sword. That's going to be a, a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy swings his sword at you, and you basically just catch it in your teeth. As he looks like he's about to piss himself. <laughs> That's I, a strong I swallow the sword whole. <laughs> um, we're doing another vicious mockery. About this guy. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be a seven again for his wisdom. I thought your face was ugly before, but after my friend here, it's really bad now. And takes two points of damage. Two points of damage, okay. It didn't die this time. <laughs> 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 Let me mark the disadvantage so I remember. 
So as he's sort of desperately trying to remove his sword out of Moody's mouth, like yanking on it as hard as he can, he looks over and ugly. sees you as you call him, yeah, as you basically call him ugly. <laughs> and sort of, you, again, he gets his eyes scrunch up as he gets a bit of a headache. <laughs> um, Archie, you're up. All right. Uh, did we ever discuss, does it take like anything to put a weapon away and, and draw a new one? I'm going to say no within reason. No. Like if, okay. if you want to just pull out, if you want to pull out your die, you're pulling yeah, out like putting, 10 different weapons. I'm, and yes, but no, I'm, just I'm putting it. my short bow away and pulling out my two daggers from my hip. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, that, okay. I'll give that a free action. All right. Um, so I would like to then use two weapon fighting and disengage as my bonus action and my movement all in one glorious action here that I would like to describe. Basically... I want to dive underneath his legs, use my two weapon fighting to kind of like double attack his crotch area, yeah. his and dick. then go through, and then go through the door here, and end up like whatever my movement will get me back into the center of this room. Roll a natural one. <laughs> what, what's your what's your um size? Are you considering small? Well, so I have uh. Half of oh, nimbleness, that's true. nimbleness. Yeah, you can okay. move through the space of any creature that is a size right. larger than yours. Right. Okay. And this guy right. medium, so you should you should be able to. Yeah. Uh, does it say your size? Where would that be? I think you're small. Yeah, I, think, I am yeah, small. Half of are considered small. Yeah. Yeah, size small. Okay. So yeah, no that's problem. That's how you've been able to be <laughs> hiding behind us every time. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. See, I won't, I won't make you roll for it since you just have the ability to do so. <laughs> so I just have to roll the attacks. Just the attacks, yeah. Okay. So this is two weapon fighting, so double attack with my dagger. And that's a D4. So the first one is a uh, daggers. Are they a dexterity weapon or a strength based weapon? I think they're dexterity. They, are they could be either. Yeah, they're okay. finesse, I think. So that is a seven to hit on the first one. Uh, that one misses. Okay. Seven. Oof. And that is a five to hit on the second one. <laughs> Lots of misses. Okay, so I miss him, but I successfully get away from him. Yeah, if you use your disengage. So yeah, where, you where, disengage. where are you running to? Uh, basically, my movement speed is 25, so I'd like to get, like... Basically, here-ish. Yeah, no worries. You can get there. 5, 10, 15, 20. You still have 5 feet if you wanted to move. Uh, no, that's a that's a good spot, because that leaves me in a, a, a fightable location. Actually, fuck, he's just going to chase me back out of the room. It's basically a fucking cartoon that I'm creating. <laughs> <laughs> the Benny, Benny Hill it. music is playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 my, I'm, my turn's done. I'm good with that. <laughs> So you roll into this guy's leg, and this isn't a move you practice much, considering you, you tend to use your bow to fight. Uh, so you do miss, but you are able to sort of roll between his legs and dash out the door. I mean, it does keep him and you in our sight. So overall, it was a good move. Anyway, Moody, you're up. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Question. You got, you got, a, you got a, a short sword in your mouth, currently. In a swift motion, uh, pull the blade in just a bit. Let go, and then take another bite out of his leg. Cool. Roll a attack, please. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Sure does. That'll do it. I'm just getting I'm big <laughs> rolls today. <laughs> Three. Uh oh. Uh, wait. Yeah, twelve points of damage. So you pull him in a bit and let go of the sword, which causes him to sort of stumble. As he starts to fall backwards, and in one quick movement, you you biting his leg. Yeah, just his upper right thigh. No, you bite his leg pretty much clean off. Okay. As he sort of collapses to the ground, it's dead. Uh, and then. All right. Uh, and, and now instead of a sword, you have a leg in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep the leg in my mouth, and my <laughs> final movement. I just want to walk. As I saw Archie sprint through the door, I want to walk uh, 
in front of him. Let me move the map right here. And I'm just going to face the door growling since I knew that the other guy already walked inside. With okay. a fucking leg in his mouth. Holding the leg. <laughs> Holding a bloody leg. I had kid drop. Okay, can I can I get to... I can't occupy the same space as him, right? Like, I, can I, I can't be... Can I be, like, next to Mooney? Where he's standing? Uh, kind of. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really be able to see in the door. I mean, if you want to go around oh. Mooney, you can, you can sort of go this way and get in front of him. We would just take him... Yeah, I... I yeah, I'd like to do that. Just enough where I can get this guy in my sights. Yeah, I mean, you basically have to and, be, uh, I think, probably right here to do it. All right. Yeah, if I can get there with my turn, then uh, I'm just going to Eldritch Blast him into that pile of clothes. That is a 24. <laughs> that does hit. <laughs> that is 12 points of damage. So Eldritch Blast catches this guy right in the chest. Uh, as it shoots him back 10 feet. Uh, his crackling green energy slams him into the wall and he collapses into the pile of clothes. Seemingly right. dead. Okay. Are we still in initiative? You are not. That's everybody. All right. Sorry, I'm a little late to the party there, guy. It's all right. Um, we handled most of them anyway. Well, you, yeah, we, you look uh, a little cut up. You, you guys all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Took a little, uh, little, little hit here and there. Nothing really too bad. Right. Who, uh, uh, we should have talked about this before. I had one of the health potions, which I've used. Who has the other one? I think Archie I imagine it would be either. Ar- 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 Archie has the bag of holes. Archie. Archie has the bag of holes. All right. So. right. All right. I think I had. Just, all right. Just wanted to, to make sure we, we were all aware that we still had one. Though. And uh, yeah, I'm going to walk into this room. And uh, so you walk what, what is, these uh, three people. What is the right? state of the guard that you said was seemingly dead? <laughs> he's actually dead. Okay. You couldn't quite tell as he was sort of hidden under this pile of clothes, but now he's dead. Dead. I'm gonna pull him free and search his body while they're doing whatever. They're doing. Uh, this guy doesn't really have much valuable stuff. Just his. Uh, he's got a short sword. He's got a short bow. Um, wearing this. You know, the same sort of leather armor the rest of them are wearing with his red cloak. I'd like to walk up to the uh, the cage that the woman is in. Yeah, they haven't said anything to you yet. They're sort of <sighs> eyeing you suspiciously. They don't really... It seems like they don't quite know what to make of you guys. All right, man. So uh, why do the, uh, the red variants have you locked up here in this uh, fucking dungeon cellar? Your name isn't uh, Yarno Obrick, is it? Uh, no. Are you guys, are you with them? With the Red Brands? Right, so didn't you just see us kill, like, all of the fucking Red Brands that were in here? <laughs> yeah. you, you do see this dead one that is at my feet right now. Right, that one, that one, yeah, we're not friends with them. Um, they, you're not they in here the same. Why are you in here? Why why do they have you locked up? My husband he, I don't I don't know. He, he, he did something to offend them. They took him. I don't I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him since. And then a, a few days later they came and took us. Alright. Well, locked, uh, locked us in these cages. I, I didn't notice the kids at first. Um, just because I'd run into this room. I'm gonna run over to their cage and see if I can get that door open. Yeah, well, the the mom is with a young girl, and then there's a young boy in the other cage. So the kids are separated. It's the women in one cage and, and the boy in the other. All right. Um, yeah, so if I was just talking to the, the girl, I'm going to run over to where the boy is to see if I can open up that mm-hmm. that cage. Okay. And yeah, you do see a, a, a young boy, maybe about 13 years old, uh, sort of sandy-colored hair, um, wearing kind of... Tattered clothes. Looks like he's a, a bit beaten up. A few bruises, a black eye. Um, go ahead and roll me a lock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of there, all right, kid. And uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, I no, no, no. I rolled a seven. Seven. You're sitting there working on it. Um, 
you, you can't seem to quite get it. You get one or two of the pins, but it's still not quite open yet. If that's what hey, we're doing, we? I'm gonna, yeah, we got we got to let them out. Art. I'm gonna open the woman's cage. Did you go ahead, same thing, Romeo. A lot then. Yeah. And the, the girl, by the way, also same sort of sandy colored hair as the mom. Uh, looks maybe quite younger, about maybe five or six. Yeah, mine's in eighteen. In. 18, so you are able to pop open the lock. No problem. Yeah. Uh, when, whenever you're set, I want to check out this door. Uh, we can do it after they're finished uh, if you want, though. No, you can go check it now. Uh, that door... Let me check my notes. So I'm not touching or anything. Uh, I'm going to... Before they walked inside to check out the jail cells, uh, I dropped the leg and started panting uh, and got bored. So Mooney is going to walk over to this door and using my dire wolf perception. <laughs> massive paw. <laughs> my massive paw. <laughs> uh, using my perception, I would like to check to see if there's anything um, else behind here. Uh, smelling, hearing, see if I sense anything. Yeah, roll me a perception. Uh, so that's that was an eight. This it fuck me another eight. You don't hear or smell yeah. anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, how did I roll two sevens? <laughs> how is so you get to rolling twenties on all your attacks? <laughs> uh, dire wolf. Yeah, it's only a plus one. That's fucking wild. Oh no, sorry, it's a plus like, three. Plus three, it'd be a ten no matter what. Yeah, it's still don't hear or see anything. That's fine. Or well, smell, any, smell anything. You definitely don't see anything. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, while they're doing that, I'm just going to be staring at the door, just waiting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just literally, literally just sitting, staring into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> like the dog that needs to be let out. <laughs> are, All right. Are the sarcophaguses? Are they open? Is that where this guy? Um, no, they're not open, but they do have lids. Can I attempt to open the one that is closest to me? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, the lid sort of pushes right off. Uh, it's a bit of an effort to, to slide it off. Um, on top of the lid, it looks like it's depicting like a male. So you can assume the person who was inside was a male. Yeah, inside you see uh, you know, smoldering bones, cloth scraps. I'm going to pick up one of the bones and uh, oh. go to Mooney. You, you, want a, you want a bone? You want a, you want a bone with that guy? Here. I'm going to try I immediately jump after it as it's in the air. <laughs> if, if, if I'm not facing the corner. Well, I mean, <laughs> you, said you're, you said you're staring at the door. So I'll let you turn around as you hear Cross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Romeo Dex. Both of you. <laughs> I got a 17. I got 11. So yeah, you're able to throw it pretty accurately. Moody, you, you, you catch that bone, no problem. Try, what's your passive perception, by the way? 14. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's not You've a good thing. This, this is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can notice as you... As you bend down to pick the bone, you notice something uh, a little sparkly inside inside that tomb. Sarcophagus. Still going to toss toss the bone to Mooney, but I'm going to focus my attention then afterwards at the sparkly thing. Roll me an investigation. 18 plus 2. So a quick uh, sort of dig through the bones a little bit, and you do find uh, it looks to be a platinum signet ring that was buried along with this fella. Uh, I'm going to take that and, well, I'm just going to put it in my pocket because I don't know whether or not it would fit on my frog hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Do you have fingers or flippers? I never really asked. I have fingers. But, but they're probably I mean, there is a little bit. Of, there is a little bit of webbing, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have to put that ring right in your pocket. Well, Trog was expecting... Mad. Uh, I I bring the bone immediately to him, drop it, and just start nodding against his kneecap. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Wolf. So you're like 
giant. Yeah, you're, ta- oh, you're really towering big. over him. Four, four times this size. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just hitting with his head, with my head. <laughs> it is a little bit gross. It is a little bit gross, Strong, as you start to get covered in this dire wolf slobber. And blood. And blood. I like being, I like being wet, so I'm going to pick up the bone <laughs> and uh, throw it to the other side of the room. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to continue doing right. this for as long as Trog lets me. While well, well, yeah. you are playing fetch, you do, Archie yeah. successfully gets the door open. <laughs> Kid, if you want to roll me another one, if you're still working on the door, you can roll me another lock. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, as I'm, as I'm working, I'm going to try to talk to this kid, just, hey, it, it's, everything's going to be all right, we're here to help. That's at 18? 18, yeah, you do manage to get the last few pins as the, right. the door to the cell also swings open. All right, I'm gonna pull out my food uh, rations as well. Are uh, are you hungry? I'm gonna ask him and and the girl. Have they been feeding yeah. you? Uh, right, nothing right. yet. All right, I'm gonna split up my food and and hand them uh, between each of the kids. Uh, have they a, will have a been... sort of sus- suspiciously take it from you. They're so bad. Right. Yeah. Have a have they been hurting you at all? I, you said he had cuts and bruises on his face. Well, when the, I tried to beat them up when they came to our house, but it didn't go so well. Uh, looking at the girl, is she injured at all? Uh, the women don't look like obviously maybe like one or two bruises, but not as bad as the boy. Brave of you. That was very brave of you to try to fan them off. But uh, that's going to be our job now, is to keep y'all safe. All right, fellas. Well, I... Uh... He is me our idea on this one. Um, well, why don't we try to uh, stack him up on Moody's back over there? He can jump him over the, the fucking hole in the ground. And uh, we send him out the door that we came in, and we well, keep on our merry fucking way. How, uh, how'd you all get in here? What, what, what do you all remember? Took us through the manor, the old manor. Down some, down some stairs into the kitchen, through, through the kitchen, excuse me. How, how many did you see down here? The guards rotated. You've seen at least six or seven different guards. And uh, was he among them? The glass staff? Does that name ring any bells? We, we heard him talking about their, their boss, but we never saw him. Your husband, uh, I think Archie had mentioned, had asked you a question. Uh, who's, who are you married to, ma'am? Is that someone that we can expect to find on our way? Or I hope so. Tall, blonde hair, clean shaven. His name's uh, Thal, if you do find him. Thal. And uh, I'm going to turn to the kids. <clears throat> they, uh, they didn't touch you at all or anything, right? They didn't? Nope. And I'm like visibly shaking. Um, Archie, uh, yeah, I think that was a, a good idea to send, uh, have Mooney take him back and get him back to the town in the hands of their own. Um, I'm going to well, yell I, into the other room. Uh, Mooney, can you come in here? I want to be perfectly fucking clear real quick. I was not saying that Mooney takes him all the way back. He nah, gets him across that fucking hole. Right. And then we, we take him to the door that we came in and say, there's right. a fucking way. Beat feet. We can't give up Mooney right now. We right. don't know what else right. we've got to fucking deal with. I get that. And we got to check out that other door, too. So, uh, right. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, there's going to be a big, I'm gonna, mostly talking to the kids. Uh, I'm barely talking to, to the mother. It's going to be a big dog that's coming in, but he's he's real friendly. As he comes in, Covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I slowly walk in. Just a dire walk. Covered in the girl, blood. The girl that screams. Yeah. Uh, as st- all right, as all this right. massive monster of a wolf walks right. in, covered in blood and slobber. Still holding, he only, he only, holding, holding a bone. Yep. <laughs> he only hurts the bad guy. He only hurts the bad guy. He doesn't, he doesn't hurt good kids. I'm going to uh, walk in, drop the bone, look immediately up at the kid and like if i can with my eyebrows like lower it like interrogation 
I'm, I'm going to pet him, uh, and I'm going to just repeat the plan. He can understand this, right? He can understand <laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> yeah, he, he can. He can understand it. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to repeat the plan. You know, uh, He's going to get you guys across the pole, and you're just going to get back to town. All right? And we're, we're going to take care of things from here, and we're going to see if you can find your path. Trying to feel like as small as possible for the kids to feel more comfortable. Just going to sit down, pan a little bit. That the, the young girl who is screaming will tentatively sort of walk up and scratch you behind your ears. Kick my leg. In the face. <laughs> well, like it, the <laughs> like like how dogs do, isn't it isn't it in the year? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Kick her through the wall. Uh and I will uh, slowly walk back to the uh hole once they're set. Yeah, how big how big is a dire wolf? Big as fuck. Did you, did you fit three fuck. people on, on the back? I guess two of them were, we were kids. Thinking, it's a we were thinking like list. one at a time. We were thinking like yeah. one at a time. That's true. If you do one at a time, it's no problem. Okay. So yeah, uh, you're able to sort of get a running jump. And eventually you're able to get all three of them over this over this edge. Also, there is, there is a question. When I wild shape, does it depend on my size? Say if I was a halfling... Would I turn into the same kind of dire wolf as a furbolg? No. No. Yeah. I believe. No, yeah, yeah, you yeah, would. It because would be the same. If you wanted, if you wanted to turn bigger, into you turn into furbolg, got to be smaller. Yeah. In a way. Uh, yeah. Because if you wanted to turn into like a mouse, you wouldn't be a fucking furbolg sized mouse. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> trying to like kind of sneak through walls. <laughs> yeah, just the the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. In your life. <laughs> now I want to be a dire badger. <laughs> A dire um, mouse. Oh, before, uh, as, as you're ferrying the kids over, uh, before uh, you take the mom over, she's going to uh, sort of say to everybody, I don't have any money or anything to offer you uh, for your help. But if you guys ever make your way to Thunder Tea, I used to live there as a, as a young girl before it... Um, before I got overrun with with my parents, they had an alchemy shop. And before before we left, we we hid some family heirlooms underneath it. I'm sure they've got to be worth something. It's, if you make your way to Thunder Tree, they're all yours as as a thank you. Once I hear her say Thunder Tree. Uh, I'm panting, jumping up and down, like just trying to nod. I, I want to walk in. They say, oh boy, another side quest. <laughs> um, and I'm going to say to her <laughs> right before she, she crosses or leaves, I don't want any of your money. I mean, maybe my friends do, and maybe it's something that we're going to check out eventually, but if you want to repay any of this, you take care of those kids. They're everything. No, they're everything. Yeah. Archie's going to walk past and say, oh, I just want your fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up to the, the other tomb that's like unopened and I'm going to try to open it. This okay, one, let right. Me, let me get these three people out of here. I'm going to delete them as if they are dead. Uh, but you see them. I don't know. I don't know if you escort them in the entire way, movie, but they do go up these same stone stairs that you guys came down to that lead up in there. When Archie and anyone else is in that other room back there, and just kind of put myself in the corner for maybe 30 seconds or so and just kind of regroup a little bit. Um, and. If no one else is in there, and it's just me, I'm going to beat the shit out of that dead body. Just fucking destroy everything about it. Just mutilate it beyond all recognition. Well, Trog walked in. I don't know if he walked back out. Archie walked out. <laughs> I'm going to stay there, and I'm just... I'm going to walk my back and... <laughs> Just no, no. The, 
the door the door is open, so the rest of you can hear. <laughs> yeah, I I don't give a shit. I'm just what gonna, sounds just to be that. extreme violence. Um, yep. Archie, the, the, there's two there's two tombs against the left wall still, right. um, or sarcophagus. Uh, they both have an impression of a woman on them. Uh, and you can, yeah, same thing. You can push, push off. It slides off with a bit of effort. Uh, the stone scraping against, and inside you see more bones, more cloth scraps. Looks like they've been gonna, here for a while. I'm gonna pick around and see if I find anything good. Romy and investigation. Twelve. Twelve. You do find uh, what appears to be a, another platinum signary. Well, to you, it's the first one because you didn't see trouble. But you do find a platinum signal. That'll go nicely with my fucking chain. I'm going to put the platinum ring on. The chain that I always forget that I have. Yeah, you never used it. I, don't... <laughs> I used it once. <laughs> well, it's an oddly specific, like, circumstance where you've got to use the fucking thing. Yeah, that's not that odd. It's just any skill check you don't have proficiency in. Or ability hey. check. And I don't so try gotta... to do things I'm not good at. Yeah. That, that's how I play D&D. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I love other not... people do the things I'm not good at. <laughs> it just means you're not I mean, unqualified. Like, unqualified. Life is kind of like that. You know, specialization of labor and all that good shit. Looking around. I just feel like giving you, I feel like giving you free advantage for things you are good at. But this would have been broken. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to open the other tomb if we're just kind of standing around here? Yeah, good. Same thing. Bones and scraps of cloth and possessions. I'm going to look possession around and see if I can find anything nice. Give me one more investigation check. Not much better. Seven. Seven, you dig around a bit. Uh, this one doesn't seem like it has anything in it. Mm. I'm going to just turn back to the group. All right, fellas, you ready to... Uh, Fucking rock and roll it. Let's see what we can do here. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm still staring at the corner. All right. I'm going to walk up to the door. Can I ascertain whether or not it is trapped? Doesn't appear to be trapped. Oh. Okay. I'm going to push on it. <laughs> it does indeed open. And what you see is a very narrow stone hallway. I forgot there is a door here. I forgot to add it. <laughs> There's a door where? There's a door right there against the wall where that pink square is. Oh, uh, okay. I forgot to add it in the map. So there's a door there. If I see you start walking that way, I'm gonna uh, I'll walk out like covered in blood. Hey, uh, maybe we should check out that other door before we continue on further and then just come back. Right. Uh, what other door we are talking about there, bud? Uh, there was one in the First room, the one that all the people ran out of. Mm, right, right, right. Yeah, I suppose we should probably check that one, but uh, right. we, do we can, we can this couple, way. We can leave a couple people here to just keep an eye on the door and, uh, you know, just split real quick to see what's going on on the other side. I mean, any threat that would have come out of those doors we've already seen, so. Right. Oh, I don't know. I th still think it's probably better for us to move as a unit because, uh, you never know what you're going to run into down here. Right. Well, I, it, it's up to you, but uh, I don't think we should. At this point, anyway, we turn and we have a threat at our back. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do whatever y'all want to do. I mean, do we're right we should... here, so we, why, don't we just, uh, why don't we just go through this door? Right. Let's I think it. we should press, right. on, press on. and Once we reach the end of this road, turn around. And if we don't yeah, find yeah, Homeboy, yeah. we'll work our way back. All right. Yeah, that works for me. That's fine. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go into the hallway. Kind of observing yeah. my my surroundings looking for traps. Right before you go, I'm just going to grab a hold of your arm. He uh, I know we were trying to maybe spare one of those folk earlier. Uh you had a better idea than the rest of us. You didn't give him that option. Moving forward, I'm not going to give him that option either. All right, we're doing this 100%. We're not leaving any one of these motherfuckers behind. All right. Well, no one is breathing after this besides us. 
All right, sounds like a plan. Oh boy, I love this murderous intent. <laughs> Archie, is your taking for traps? Can you roll me a, a perception, please? Yeah. A perception? That's a four. four. Don't notice anything. All right, I'm going to head towards the door. You get to the door, no problem. Is anyone else following into this hallway? Yes. Uh, if he's already been, yeah, if he's already been in it and checked it out, then we're gonna follow in afterwards. I'm gonna, ah. I'm gonna okay. follow right behind Archie. Jo- what, Derek? What's your what, what's your perception as a your passive perception as a dire wolf? Thirteen. Thirteen, and then Trog, you to fourteen, right? Trog and oh, kid, what's your passive perception? It's low. Okay. It's nine. <laughs> uh, well, Mooney and. Trog, you guys sort of notice uh, as you walk in, not a trap, but something does seem a bit strange about this wall on opposite the door. I'm basically hugging, <clears throat> I mean, even though I'm probably still bigger, hugging Archie's legs. So once I get closer to that wall, I'd like to take a perception check. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, that's better. That's a 13, uh, 17. Looking at this wall, on sort of the, the back sort of brick stone wall, mm-hmm. there's like sort of scrape marks as if someone has been moving this other wall. Oh, I immediately tap Archie on the leg, uh, try to get his attention and just start looking up at the scratches. What? Dan Archie, now that now that Mooney has drawn your attention to them, you also see these scrape marks against the back wall. All right, I I would like to look to see. Can I figure out h- how this wall moves? Then uh, roll me a perception. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. You sort of put your hands against it. Um, it's very heavy, but it appears as if you can just push it. All right, I'm going to give it a push. So, with great effort, uh, it is a very heavy wall. It sort of scrapes against this back wall, but it does swing open, revealing another room. Oh, that you boy. can't quite totally see, since you haven't uh, gone in yet. But what you do see is, yeah, there's appears to be another room. You see some boxes and crates and stuff in there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna press onward. You know. Okay, so if you go into this room, bows out. I'm ready to fucking rock. Is he going in the room to the right or the room? To the room. The I'm room going to into the room I opened. Yeah, which oh, is okay. the room on the left. Gotcha. That's one behind the the false. So as you yeah, okay. saunter into this room, um, what first appears to be kind of like a storeroom. But as you look down at the uh, sort of south part, it sort of opens up into this large... Do you have dark vision? Probably. Right? Yeah. Uh, Archie's the only one who does not. Yeah. Okay. So you can see a... But Archie I'm, can see a bit, not the entire right. way. But what Kid can I'm see right is what behind. appears to be a large natural cabin opening up. Holy shit. I just, I, was, I did not expect that. Well, if, if uh, I mean, if, if y'all aren't opposed to it, I can light one of my fires if you want to get a better look at what's down the way. I mean, I don't see anyone uh, with, with what I can do. It might not be a bad idea. <clears throat> yeah, uh, in that There's case, no I am going to... Dark. Right, I'm going to cast a bonfire. Okay, where do you want to cast that? Yes, I'm seeing how far I can do it. Uh, I can do it up to 60 feet, so I'm going to see if I can do it on this little outcropping that's up ahead there. And, uh, I can't make any marks on the map, but it's where the, that rock is kind of jutted out. So, okay, so that's... That. Yeah, like, that oh, was that water, or is that... No, so what you can... Since you have dark vision, what you can kind of see is um, that's sort of a uh, cliff, almost. This sort of more reddish area that you haven't quite lit up yet is like a crevasse. 
You can't oh, see how below. deep it goes. So that's okay. Below as well. And on the opposite side is above. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this oh, reddish okay. part is you. under, yep, and the, yep. the darker black. Gotcha. Part. Okay. Um. And this rock here isn't actually a rock. That's actually that's a stone pillar that extends up into the ceiling. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna light that far point there, in that case. Um, yeah, same point that you had marked on the map. Okay, I'll just put a uh, circle there. Okay, there's your bonfire. So that'll illuminate the uh, the most, and you know that way it won't like backlight us <laughs> as we're coming in. And yeah, that that seems pretty good. Yeah, so it opens up. You do see this sort of crevasse uh, light up. There are bridges going across it, wooden bridges. The cavern sort of continues for some distance to the south. You can't quite make out how far it goes. And there's also what appears to be, uh, you know, different hallways going off into various directions. Well, uh, it looks like it goes on quite a way. Um, I don't see any doors or anything on the built-up side of that wall that, like, the door that we had seen previous would lead into. You do It'll, see it uh, does sort of appear to go off into like a hallway this direction, uh, but you can't quite make it out from where you are. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, in that case, I'm just going to follow whatever everyone else is doing. And there is still that door that you haven't opened that was on the opposite. Oh. All right. Do we want to hit up that other door just across the hallway? Yeah, I'm always uh, curious on what's uh, behind, behind closed doors. Right. You never know what's going on behind them. I'll, uh, I'll hang out here just to, to keep an eye on my fire. Uh, if y'all will just want to check out what's over there. And if you need me, then I'll, I'll be real close. All right. Sounds like a plan. And I'm going to just kind of turn around and walk back over to the door. This one is, in fact, locked. You can see there's a iron padlock <laughs> on it. It's, it's an iron padlock. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm going to try to open it. Okay, so roll me a lock picking. I'm rolling a different fucking die from now on. This one's <laughs> just not doing it today. It's gonna be a five. Five. You can't can't get the padlock off, unfortunately. This one's a bit more well made, it seems, than the the cell cell locks that you had just previously picked open. Uh, hey Archie, there, guy. Um, you seem to be having a little bit of trouble. Do you, uh, you want me to give it a try? Right. If you uh, if you have the tools, you're more than welcome, my friend. I I actually uh, I do, and uh, I'm gonna pull out my lock picking set. Okay, go ahead and roll me a lock picking. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Trog, you do successfully manage to pop the padlock open. <laughs> if kids saw this, he would be <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> Archie's gonna reach out and uh, pat Trog on the back. You say, oh, Roy, buddy, that's fucking impressive there. Thanks, my guy. Not very often I uh, get to do this, but it sure is fun. <laughs> oh, you're fucking right there. I'm going to take the padlock off the door and try to open it. There you going. Uh, yeah, fuck it. There you go. You walk into what appears to be a small armory. Uh, there's there... sort of racks, racks of weapons lining the walls. Uh, see things like spears, swords, crossbows, bolts. There's about maybe a dozen of these dirty red bolts hanging on the wall, or hang on hooks. Um, do the, any of the weapons look like particularly fancy, or like worth money, or you know maybe a little bit more powerful, or anything like that? investigation 14 it all just looks like very standard sort of deep soldier fair almost just your standard right. standard bullshit uh, yeah just normal stuff all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna turn to my my compadres all right fellas well uh nothing looks uh too too nice but if anyone wants to uh Switch out something, try something new. You're more than welcome. There's some fucking cakes, or, uh, capes in there. We could do like fucking super moony and have them be all fuzzy and sweaty and caked. 
I go inside. <clears throat> I stand on my hind legs on my front paw out and just wait for a cape <laughs> to be placed around my neck. <laughs> I'm going to take the cape that I made out of the bloody one <laughs> from the people in the uh, in the town. I'm going to put it on uh, Mooney, so it's very small. Direwolf Mooney is very happy and does a complete just just dash through the hallway. A backflip, too. <laughs> I got the zoomies. Yeah, I got the zoomies. <laughs> it's like when a dog goes to the groomer and gets a uh, like a little a bandana. A bandana. <laughs> Ooh, you got a cape, though. Well, bandana. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm going to turn around and walk back into the uh, the ca- the cave room. Anything good? Yeah, just a fucking bullshit armory. They didn't have anything nice. Just a bunch of fucking grunt bullshit. I'm just gonna nod. All right. So, uh, what do we think, fellas? Should we push push farther into this cave? Or? Yeah, I, I want to find this glass staff. I want to find whoever's left. And finish this thing. All right. Can we? I'd like to make my way this way. Is there any kind of door or anything like over in this area? Which area? Like mm-hmm. this general area here. That's like up on against, the cliff. Against this wall? Or, that, um, you know, that's ele- that's Oh yeah, up there is elevated above us. And this is higher than this? Or is this... The so the red is... This, this red part in the middle is is a cremas, so it's it's lower, and then this so black this is part. Low. Yeah, the black part is up, and then this gray stuff is that's just a wall. So if I wanted to walk from this room into here, where would I walk? The black. The On black this part area. here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the is there a is door upper. here? Um, it goes off into a hallway. There's no door. But it sort of goes off into another hall. You can't really from we, from where you're at now. You can't really see where it goes. Right, there's right, no right. door. There's no door. But yeah, if uh, if Arch is moving, I'm moving behind him. Uh, there is a fire at that edge, um, so I'd have to probably put that out uh, if we're going to keep going further south. All right, fellas. Well, it's my pl- my fucking all right plan. He is. Why don't we move down here and see if I. There isn't some kind of linkage between this fucking cabin and that door where those fellas ran out. Because if right. my uh, internal directions are about right, we should be close to that same room. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to be able to hit that just so that we don't leave anything behind us. Um, I don't know what's going to be to our right when we go down that way. So, I mean, I can go out and I have dark vision so I can keep an eye open. Just make sure we're not getting attacked from the other side of the crevasse there. But, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Cover our side, our side before we cross the bridge. Right, right. All right. Well, um, I'll, uh, I'll follow behind Archie. And as we get far enough down, I want to look uh, across the way to see if I can see anything further down this little passage that would be to our character's right but to our left on the screen so as you're walking down yeah you do walk by this um this passage you can't quite see all the way down as it does but there is some kind of hallway going that way as well i'm just gonna whisper out what i'm seeing and uh as we get far enough down uh i'm going to lift my uh, bonfire spell, which was right on this end here, that's going to disappear and plunge everything to, into the black. Uh, but then I'm going to yeah. reignite it on the opposite side of the crevasse to allow us to continue going south. And uh, I want to light it on the opposite side. Um, yeah, just the opposite side of us, near where the number eight is on the screen. Okay, another bonfire. Boop. Poops into existence. Um, you do see this other stone pillar over on this side. Um, and as you guys continue to make your way down, oh, I will say, now that you're next to the crevasse, you can see it's probably about 20 feet deep. At its widest point, about 15 feet wide. But, you know, it varies from between, like, 5 to 15, from thinnest to widest. 
Do I see anything on the way down? Like, do I see anything below? Uh, roll me an investigation. Ooh, I am the wrong person to, to ask. Uh, do uh, do one of y'all mind looking <laughs> at the same time I am? There's no yeah. point in you looking down there. Right, right. Well, I mean, there is a. We do have a fire. We do have a fire yeah. up here, so. I mean, but, if you want, uh, I could take a little gander. That would well, be great, because uh, I rolled a seven. Seven. You don't see anything. Just yeah, I'd sort of darkness, inky darkness. Yeah, I got I'm just gonna put some point. Yeah. What'd you roll, Chug? Uh, thirteen plus two. Fifteen. Okay, uh, fifteen. You do see um, what appears to be a body laying at the bottom of this crevasse. Sort of. Uh, you can't quite make it out. You see the legs, uh, just sort of sticking out underneath <laughs> this uh northern bridge here there's a there's a body down here i see some legs Tony, uh, how- hope you're hungry <laughs> <laughs> can we- i hear bone can, uh- jump off <laughs> no I'll, I'll i'll wait for now unless they unless anybody specifically says can you check this body out can he tell how old the bones look? Oh, they're not bones. It's a, it's a body body. It's a, can he tell like how long it's been down there? I, I should say. But I would say probably not without getting closer and, and taking a look at it. It's 20 feet down, you said? Uh, yeah, 20 feet deep. Does it look like there's any particularly easy way down there? So, uh, yeah, if I go like this area, is that like and uh, in, incline at all, or is that also twenty yeah, feet? Like a, like a straight Are drop, you, or is he? It, it's, not a, it's not a straight drop. It's, I mean, it's quite craggy. You could try and climb down if you wanted to. Should we just tie a rope to? Well, like, it's not like it's not someone. a sheer wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe not the dire wolf, but can we like frog? Can I tie a rope around you and just lower you down there? Yeah, just uh, as long as you don't tie the rope to my ankles, we'll be fine. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Who? What kind of idiot would do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to tie one end of the rope, the, the rope around uh, Mooney's waist, and I'm going to tie the other one down uh, around like the upper torso of Trog, and lower him down, kind of using Mooney as an anchor. How big is a direwolf? Oh, oh, I see Mooney staying, beast. Up, Mooney staying up top. For some reason, I thought you were lowering yeah. Mooney down. No, no, <laughs> no. Mooney is like an anchor up top, lowering draw. <laughs> okay. yeah. like, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna do most of the lowering, but in case I fail for some reason, like yeah, Mooney's gonna more. be there to keep it from. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, right. I'll be nearby this pillar in case I need to add more weight to it. Got it. Uh, and we would probably, we probably actually would do it like closer to wherever. Um, Murchie's checking out this tunnel. That way we're kind of doing two birds with one stone. Right about that. Got it. Well, since <laughs> with Mooney as a counterweight, I won't make you roll strength for it. Uh, <laughs> so, Chuck, <laughs> you are able to be... Yeah, <laughs> you're able to be descended um, into this crevasse 20 feet down. All right, I'm in the crevasse. Uh, I'm going to go over and, and look at this body. <laughs> yeah, as you're walking towards this body, you do notice this crevasse seems almost um, unnaturally cold. Colder than, than it probably should be. Um, and as you walk to this body, uh, you do see a tall, blonde-haired, clean-shaven gentleman. Um, looks like it was kind of just dumped into the crevasse. Uh, it does look like something's been chewing on it. Uh, Mooney, where uh, were you down here? Uh, <laughs> definitely been. Uh, on this thing. I'm I'm hey, yeah, I, I'm letting out y- little yips. Uh, I promise, not me. Not yet. What's uh, What do you What do you see down there? Uh, well, you see, this guy's got like blonde hair. Um, it looks like you know something's been eating him. I f- I'm getting a little chilly down here. I, you know, being 
being a frog, you know, I'm getting kind of right. cold. Probably want to get up here soon. Um, can I, can I uh, search the guy? Yeah, and uh, um, how, how long does it look like he's in there? Frog? I'm sorry, what'd you say? How long does it look like he's been there? <laughs> how long do you, does has he been here? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me think. Uh, for some reason, the words, a few days, float into your mind. Uh, oh, definitely man. a few days, you know. It just came to me. <laughs> the echoes hit the walls and bounce back to him with the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you do notice as you're uh, walking towards this body as well, there's uh, a little cubby hole underneath uh, this northern bridge with <laughs> what appears to be a chest in it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I see the chest, and I would like to check for any sort of traps. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me an investigation. 18 plus 2. No traps as far as you can tell? Um, alright, I'm gonna open it. Okay, you open the chest. It's sort of, it's a fairly nice looking chest, it's got like iron bands over it. Uh, it's not locked. And you do find, uh... Some pretty good swag inside. Um, you get about 120 gold pieces. What the fuck? I thought it was uh, going to be a mimic. I don't know about the rest of you guys. <laughs> it was kind of hoping. Uh, 160 silver. Five small green malachite gems. Two, uh, two vials of liquid. Uh, well, I'll just say they, they're health pots. Two health potions. <laughs> You've seen health potion before, so you know what they look like. Yeah. As well as a scroll and a very nice looking long sword in this sort of silver scabbard. What do you got down there? Uh, I got this box. Um, there was some stuff in it. There's, uh, there was some, some money. And, um, how big is the long sword? How big technically uh. is the long sword? I have no idea. <laughs> he just wants to know if his dagger is. <laughs> Your dagger's not bigger than the long sword. <laughs> yeah, we established that the dagger can only get so big. <laughs> a long sword is on average 100 to 130 centimeters, including the hilt. Cool. How do I look like, like fucking, fucking European? Yeah, is this fucking America? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's four feet and three point one inches. So it's bigger so it's than longer than you. <laughs> Please deal with it. Like just oh that would be the that's like a fucking anime. Just <laughs> you are with a giant sword. A massive sword. Uh, I mean I don't know how I would even like holster it. Like I mean Clearly on your back, just dragging on the yeah, ground yeah, behind you. It's going to be dragging behind me. Yeah, <laughs> you've seen anime before. This is true. <laughs> um, the only logical place to put your sword. Is there anything on the the dead body? Uh, it doesn't look like it. This is close. All right, fellas, I got some swag down here. Um, I don't see anything else. Um, it's really cold. Can, uh, can you guys bring me up, please? Upon noticing the cold, Trog, can you please make me a wisdom saving throw? Uh, 13. <clears throat> As you're making your way sort of back out from underneath the bridge, it feels like you're getting even colder. And you keep getting colder. And you sort of look down at the ground and... It's not like a smooth sort of bottom of the crevasse. There's like cracks and crags and sort of fissures in the ground. And as you get distracted looking into this one particularly deep fissure that appears to just keep going and going as it drops into this sort of black nothingness. And it seems like it goes much, much deeper than it possibly, you know, could in reality. <clears throat> and you're almost reminded of a dream you had. 
but after a few seconds, you sort of shake it off and prepare yourself to be lifted back out of this crevasse. As Trog calls out, I begin to start uh, backing up. Yeah, I'm going to pull. After that, I'm kind of visibly shaking. Whether it's from the cold or from recollection of the dream, can't tell. Okay, then you're able to lift Trog back up, no problem. I think that body you found was uh, Thal's father of the kids that we had seen. I, I'd be pretty shaken up too. You uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm all right. It's a little cold down there. Let's um. I don't like the cold. I got this sword. I don't. It doesn't really fit me as much as I want to. I want to use it, but it's. It's uh, it's too big for me, kid. Uh, you seem to be like the only one that could actually use this, Mooney. You, you got your stick, so uh, <laughs> yeah. I give this long sword to to you. All right. Well, I I did just get rid of my old one. I I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but um, I, I'll hold on to it. For now, uh, thank you. Oh, you found a scroll as well. I forgot if I mentioned that. You did mention mm-hmm. that. Okay. Um, I remember my, after I give the sword to to, to the kid, I take a breath and then I'm gonna pull the scroll out. Could I read what's on it at all? Yeah, you can examine it. Uh, can you make, make me an, uh, an arcana? Arcana. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, it appears what you have is a scroll of augury. So allow you to cast the Augury spell, which allows you to ask uh, a, a deity for like a kind of advice. He can't really tell you much. Basically, it lets you ask a deity if what you're about to do is a good or a bad idea. And do so. I know this. I know that I'll be able to ask uh, a deity. Then. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know, you know what the scroll does. They can't give you. They, you don't like speak. To, you know, you won't speak directly to the deity, but it gives you. I think from the spell, it gives you like one of four signs, and based on whatever sign you get, that says, "Oh, this is a good idea. This is a bad idea." Does it depend on the character, by the way, or is it just this one singular deity? Like, if you would give it to me, would I talk to Ionysus? Uh, I'd have to read this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ilanus? It's Ian. It's your god called Ian Isis? No, it's Ilanus. Ilanus, I think. (laughs) (laughs) I I keep forgetting. Okay, well. My god, Ian. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't specifically say deity, it just says you receive an omen from an otherworldly entity. I'm happy with it. About the results of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. Yeah, that's gotcha. good enough. And then it'll say whether you're going to get good results, bad results, good and bad results, or <laughs> results that aren't especially good or bad. That could actually be a really cool uh, uh, lore introduction or something. Mm-hmm. I can dig it. Yeah, so yeah, with your arcana check, you know that this roll does. All right. Well, once we get him back up, I'm going to look over to Arch. You want to check out that hallway? We'll be right behind you. Right, I think that's our uh, our best movement. I'm going to move forward. Make your way. Um, as you get closer to this area, you, you see that the hallway extends down. Can you see ahead, or does he need any additional light? Still pretty dark. I was going to pour uh, a hooded lantern. Okay, you can do that. And, uh... Pull your lantern out, and you can see the wall, or sorry, the hallway just goes all the way back to a wall. To a wall? What the fuck? Uh... Well, hey, it, it could be what we encountered before, you know, like a fake fake wall right. or something. Can I investigate the wall? Throw me an investigation. I fucking hate walls. Fuck <laughs> these walls! Oh, uh, it's a 20. Like a natural one. It's a, it's a, really, it's a climactic. I'm sorry. Fuck these walls. Oh, I didn't mean to reveal that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a fake wall. It's a fake wall? Fake Fuck wall. It. Similar, oh, similar to the one you just found. Wait, okay, okay you open it. Could you guys see and that? And it does lead. Yes. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the dare type fuck these walls. The big fuck these walls. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been typing stuff for, for OBS, so like, dude, if, if anybody watches, they can see like, oh, that's a bonfire. And I've just been like making jokes. Oh, I didn't know yeah, you guys yeah, could see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we could see. We could, we could see that the whole time. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, I thought he did that. Yeah, right. he, he did the the pink circle. I just wanted to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a bonfire. <laughs> nice. Uh, by the way, yeah, the wall does similar similar to the other wall pushes open and it leads back to the first uh, very first room you were in. All right. And if you do remember. There was a red brand who was making his way towards that wall before you killed him. I don't remember that. Yeah, that figured. was the one that um, that got yeah, lost he in the was details. One, he he was the one that we were considering letting live, and then you attacked him, and then we all just piled on and fucking killed him against <laughs> that wall. Oh, that's right. There's like a there's like an explosion of I'm assuming I'm assuming now it's already melted, but it was ice that uh, Derek had thrown into that wall at one point. Yeah, but it wasn't enough to... Yeah, sort of it, it missed it. Had, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to turn around, and am I looking at the kid? Yeah, I would have been right behind you. All right, buddy. Um, it looks like we've uh, come fucking full circle here, so we might as well, well I, go up and check that fucking door since we're standing yeah, I here. Do that. I, I, I've been thinking about that door for... For the last 15 minutes so yeah let's go check that out is everyone following or is there some people staying behind I'll uh, follow. yeah i'm gonna snuff out that bonfire once we kind of leave the light of it so bonfire gone okay everyone follows in you come to this door also unlocked can i do the honors we've been all opening different doors today I i'm just gonna oh, right. uh i'm gonna I'm not even gonna check up for traps because I just I watched three people come out of it earlier. I'm gonna push the door open. Okay, door opens. Oop, that's the wrong one. Check. <laughs> oh my god, the abyss it swallowed me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard check for traps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it pops open, and uh, you enter into uh, just looks like a storeroom that's been sort of converted into a kind of living quarters. There's some double bunk beds against the wall. Uh, there's barrels and crates. I'm gonna and there are, there are also three three cloaks as well. Hang on, hooks on. Ooh, what color are they? Red cloaks. They're red cloaks. They're red cloaks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start popping lids on barrels. Yeah. If he's on one side of the room, I'm gonna be on the other side of the room doing the same thing. Yeah, so basically, uh, similar to what was in the cellar when you guys had first entered, uh, it's mostly just sort of provisions. Things like salted pork and beef jerky, flour, sugar, some booze. Um, if there's any food items, I'm going to replenish my rations that I had given to the kids earlier. Yeah, there's salted salted meat for some bowls. All right. Yeah, I'm going to grab those and... Uh, all right. Well, I, I feel better knowing that we've at least covered every every little bit, uh, so we can head back now the way that we had come before us. All right. All right. Fucking tally ho. All right. <laughs> We're gonna double back. <laughs> Feeling much better. <laughs> Explored every area. <laughs> yep. Yep. And uh, again, entering into that cavern uh, near where I had lit it before, I'm gonna light the uh, bonfire. Oh, before you do that, what's your marching order as you enter the cavern? Uh, I would have been second, third, and fourth. I would have been first since uh, I had dark, since I have dark vision, and I'm probably the medius besides uh, Mooney. I'm behind uh, the kid. Okay, I'm riding That's on me. top of Mooney, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm following just a, whoever can see. Let me roll a dice real quick. Okay. This time, as you walk into the cavern, um, you sort of get back up to the crevasse, and as you're about to cast your bonfire, um, kid, you hear someone say, you're looking for something, aren't you? Or someone. Oh, fuck. Is this sound like he's saying it to us, or like he's, it's like a 
it's muffled and he's saying it to someone else. You hear it very clearly. Oh, fuck. I'm going to raise a hand and I'm going to stop because I'm bleeding this, so everyone else is going to stop. Uh, do I hear it in my head? Or does it like sound like it's coming from everywhere? Or somewhere? Uh, you hear it in your head. doesn't seem like anyone else heard it. I'm just going to think it. I'm going to say, uh, I am. And I think that's where we will end for today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>